Hi there, everyone. Uh, welcome to evening prayer on this evening, the vigil of the Feast of Pentecost. Um, usually I talk about the daily readings, which would have been from uh, this morning's Mass, not uh, the Feast of Pentecost yet until evening prayer, and then we, we go into the vigil of, of Pentecost now uh, this evening with evening prayer. Um, but uh, today's, uh, you, we wake up this morning amidst much sadness, anger, uh, distress, just a lot of nastiness going on right now in the world, in this country in particular, and, and um, it's it. We need to uh, remember that uh, violence is uh, not the way of Christ. Christ taught us to to be full of love, respect for life, and and this. Uh, rioting and, and all of this destruction of property and thievery going on is uh, counter to to everything that we hold to be true as Christians. Um, it's, uh, you know, this, this idea of how this started with uh, this poor innocent man being killed by uh, the undue uh, actions of uh, a police officer up in, in Minneapolis. Yes, you, we've all seen that video, and uh, there is no excuse and no, no um, uh, justification for, for what was done to this, this man. And, um, you know, the, he's, he was fired, and, and now he's been charged and arrested. So... Um, you know, this good justice needs to, to uh, be done and, and the man needs to go through all of the processes of, uh, you know, due process and everything that, uh, that, that is due all of us here in this country. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we just can't allow uh, base instincts to take over. Uh, we we could look at the example of Paul as we've been looking at the readings throughout the week of him being on trial and, and under arrest and and there was sort of a mob mentality uh, the other day when uh, the Sadducees and the Pharisees were going at each other uh, vehemently arguing uh, to the point where the uh, the uh, government official had Paul removed to, for his own safety, uh, and it's uh, so it's never um, the right answer. Violence is never the solution for uh, for a resolution to uh, a conflict or an injustice. Uh, we all have to. Uh, remember Jesus' words, is to, to love one another as I have loved you. He laid down his life for us, and uh, we created in his own image and likeness. We're brothers and sisters, and and we're, we're different, but we're the same. You know, it'd be boring if we were all, you know, the same. It would just be a, a ridiculously drab and boring and, and, and just... Uh, vanilla kind of, and I like vanilla, but but uh, if everything was vanilla, that's you know that that's no no adventure, no no diversity, no uh, excitement in life, no beauty in life from from the, all the different cultures and languages and and uh, you know the different uh, everything is just based on on our our collective unity in Christ, even though we're all unique and different, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. So we have to be Christians at this moment. We have to be uh, mindful of our love for one another and let that rule our hearts. Um, the uh, we, we want justice for the... Um, 
the the poor fellow up there that was was killed. Of course we do. You know that's uh, inexcusable to 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 do what happened to him. That that's just just a a, a, a senseless death. Um, but we have to stand back and and allow uh, justice to take. You know the wheels of justice, as they say, turn slowly. And uh, you know, and I think. I think having been locked down for two months and being unable to even go out and do anything for two months, a lot of these people probably had a lot of energy pent up inside them, and and it just sort of burst forward uh, at this uh, grievous uh, uh, injustice that was done. Um, so there's, you know, it's understandable anger and and this but the bottom line is you know we destruction of property and thievery and 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 the mob mentality it's not the answer it's not the answer Uh, peace is the answer love is the answer Um, you know and God is the God of justice God is the God of love and mercy so we just have to put our trust in him and not uh, not fall prey to uh, uh, what Jesus said, he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. So uh, violence is just not going to get us anywhere where we want to go. Um, so extra prayers are in, in order for peace to prevail, for calmness uh, to to take root, you know, not forgetting justice, but we need to do it, you know, we have to behave ourselves in, in a calm and orderly fashion, uh, you know, to, to get the results that, that are needed, you know, and to get... Uh, through this and get the answers that we need and and you know to move forward uh, not forgetting all the principles that our Lord taught us that we are brothers and sisters we love one another and uh, you know, we we just we don't stoop to violence it's just not the way of Christians so this morning we're this morning i I do record these earlier in the day so that we can get them online uh but today on this uh this vigil of of pentecost uh we really need our holy spirit to to come and and instill peace into the hearts of all americans uh and and understand that 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 we need each other. You know, we need to be united, united in Christ, and not divided over fears and and injustices. And you know, we just need to be united in that love of Christ, and and hopefully that will prevail. And and we'll be able to move forward, and not be a nation so divided and filled with hatred and mistrust uh, you know, we, just, we just have to be Christians <laughs> plain and simple let's be Christians and let's follow the ways of Christ which are the ways of love so as we pray our evening prayer today we really need this Holy Spirit to come and not just into our hearts you know, this is where it starts with each one of us but we can be instruments of his presence in the world and go out and and make a difference with the people that we interact with um, and sow the seeds of love, understanding, trust, and peace. So let us do our our evening prayer, and um, we will, uh, you know, just... Remember to stay faithful to our Christian ways of living. 
So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, they had all gathered together in one place. Alleluia. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God? Who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From the dung heap he raises the poor, to set them in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of the people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, Word of God, surrendering the brightness of your glory, you became man so that we may be raised from the dust to share your very being. May there be innumerable children of the church, to offer homage to your name from the rising of the sun to its setting. On the day of Pentecost, they had all gathered together in one place. Alleluia. Tongues as a fire appeared before the apostles, and the Holy Spirit came upon each of them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, give thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warriors in warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of the stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken. Gather together those who have been scattered and enrich us all from the plentitude of your eternal wisdom. Tongues as a fire appeared before the apostles and the Holy Spirit came upon each of them. Alleluia. The Spirit who comes from the Father will glorify me. Alleluia. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse your honor or the glory due your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. The Spirit who comes from the Father will glorify me. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Romans. If the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will bring your mortal bodies to life also through his Spirit dwelling in you. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. He will teach you all things. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of all believers and set them on fire with your love. Though they spoke many different languages, you united the nations in professing the same faith. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of all believers and set them on fire with your love. Though they spoke many different languages, you united the nations in professing the same faith. Alleluia. When the days of Pentecost were complete, God sent the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. As we celebrate this great feast with joy and faith, let us cry out, Send forth your Spirit, and make the whole world new. In the beginning you created heaven and earth, and in the fullness of time you renew, renewed all things in Christ. Through your Spirit go on renewing the world with the gift of salvation. Send forth your Spirit and make the whole world new. You breathe the breath of life into Adam, Send your spirit into your church to be its life and vigor that it may bring new life to the whole world. Send forth your spirit and make the whole world new. By the light of your spirit, enlighten the world and dispel the darkness of our times. Turn hatred into love sorrow into joy, and war into peace, the peace that we desire. Send forth your spirit and make the whole world new. Water flowed from the side of Christ as the fountain of your spirit. May it flow over all the earth and bring forth goodness. Send forth your spirit and make the whole world new. You bring life and glory to mankind through the Holy Spirit. Through the Spirit lead the departed into the love and joy of heaven. Send forth your Spirit and make the whole world new. Now let us pray the prayer that Christ himself taught us. And really, let's turn to our Father and ask him to intercede with all of the negativity 
that's running around in our country right now. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, you fulfilled the Easter promise by sending us your Holy Spirit. May the Spirit unite the races and nations on earth to proclaim your glory. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all continue to pray for peaceful resolution to all of this, for an end to the senseless violence and rioting that's going on and uh, that calmer heads will prevail and our Christian attitude will permeate the situation and not an attitude of vengeance and violence. So as we move forward, let us do that. Let's move forward and onward and upward towards our heavenly homeland, remembering that uh, Christ loves us and we are to love him and one another. God bless all of you. Uh, let's pray extra hard for our nation, for all the people, for uh, a resolution to all of this madness that goes on. You know, it's uh, also a, uh, you know, we need to also pray for the coronavirus to come to an end to, uh, it seems like we're winning the battle against it slowly but surely. Uh, but uh, struggles in our world today are great. And uh, our faith needs to be even greater because God's power and God's love and mercy is the most powerful force, period. God bless you all. I'll see you, good Lord willing, tomorrow.